Now this was this was the case of left ovarian torsion. Patient uh, was uh, 20 years female and uh, having one pregnancy. Uh, she was having pain yesterday uh, at uh, afternoon 12 o'clock. A uh, little bit um, pain and it started gradually and uh, and the night at 9 to 10 o'clock uh, it became intense excruciating pain and uh, severe vomiting 5 to 7 episode of vomiting and uh, this is the case of ovarian torsion uh, in this the left ovary it is enlarged 9 centimeter by 4 centimeter left ovary and in this uh, you can see that the normal uh, texture of this ovary is lost. Uh, you can see the central ecogenic area here and uh, the overall texture of this ovary is lost and there are multiple peripheral follicles. This is this is the hydrosulfing. Uh, sorry, this is the what we say fallopian tube. This area uh, and uh, it was showing well full sign uh, due to the torsion and uh, there was a cyst near this fallopian tube. This is the ovary. No flow inside the ovary. We had kept the velocity of this ovary at 9. Even though there is no flow appreciated, so there is no vascularity inside the ovary. And uh, there was a cyst inside the, uh, in the right, uh, in this left ovary. Uh, and this cyst was having uh, this type of internal equals. Uh, see, th this is very interesting finding uh, that whenever you see this internal echoes inside the cyst, uh, we assume it as the uh, endometriotic cyst. Yes, it is uh, one of the finding this low level internal echo homogeneous is the sign of endometriotic cyst. But this uh, homogeneous low level internal echo uh, is uh, somewhat uh, different in the texture than the endometriotic cyst. Uh, how it is different? That uh, in that endometriotic cyst, you will see this kind of homogeneous uh, low-level internal echoes in the whole of the cyst cyst area. Here you see that there is uh, some blackish area over here. So uh, this is this type of. Uh, internal echoes inside the cystic area is due to uh, impaired uh, venous return and uh, collection of the blood inside the uh, cyst ultimately um, both the findings are one and the same only in endometriotic cyst also there is blood and in this uh, uh, torsion type of cyst uh, is also there is blood inside the cystic area but both are different type of blood one is uh, permanent and uh, this is uh, acute so in acute type you will see this type of uh, hypoechoic or blackish area not whole homogeneous area as we see in the endometriotic cyst so this suggests that there is uh, some impaired venous return due to the torsion and there is collection of the blood inside the cyst. Uh, it is very, you know, a subtle finding. Uh, you will get to know with the experience. But what I had tell, uh, what I had explained, uh, you just keep in mind. Okay. Said that in endometriotic cyst, you need to observe the uh, homogeneous internal echoes in, uh, and it should be in in this hole of the cyst, not here like this black. This is right ovary. And there is a free fluid in the 
pelvis it was in the pectoral space also here gall bladder pancreas right kidney sorry left kidney there was hydronephrosis little bit this is appendix normal appendix but just fluid inside the appendix and there is some free fluid in the pelvis and in the fossa also and uh, uh, see this is the uh, feature of the torsion of the ovary that here the follicles it will show hello this tiny follicles will show this black this tiny follicles it will show this black blackish hello it is a sign of uh, torsion uh, but not always it is not so much sensitive but uh, you just have to uh, know that in torsion this kind of uh, hellos are seen in the follicle it it, it enhances our uh, doubt about the torsion in in this follicle there is no hello second thing see the texture this ovary um, is homogeneous ideally there should be some follicles and uh, uh, this uh, central part is hyperechoic and uh, this ovary has become smooth so this is a sign of uh, torsion okay